Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Blocked Bricks. Today, we, uh, as you all know, we just finished doing this haul video. And as I said, I was going to be doing this just to fire, just to check it out and see what it looks like. Um, is it worth the dang? $170, I believe. But yeah, the guys, this is set number 75323. It comes with 1,022 pieces. So yeah, the piece count, pretty dang low for $170. We're going to bust this bad boy open, check it out, put a quick review for you guys, and see what we think. Stick around, don't want to miss it. And here's a quick shot of the box art, guys. It is pretty cool. I can definitely appreciate it. Much better than the 18 plus series lineup where it's just really a black background. I can start to appreciate much more um, the art that these boxes have, the, uh, you know, that's everything that's not 18 plus. But you got the Star Wars Lego logo up there, uh, set number, the Justifier piece count, and of course the red stripe representing that it's from the Bad Batch series. And of course you got your little shot of the minifigures down there at the bottom. Top of the box gives you Cad Bane, the actual size of the minifigure. Super excited to get to that one. Side of the box art has a shot of the Justifier there. Eh, not the greatest shot, but it's there. Of course, you got the Star Wars Lego logo at the top. And the back, you got some great shots of the uh, Justifier there in the landing position. Of course, some of the details of the functioning there, uh, the uh, axis of the cockpit there pretty much the features of the plane. It looks like they're there in some kind of landing pad, but pretty excited guys, let's get straight to this. All right guys, so as always, I like to unbox where the art is not, beside the art, nice side box there. So we're gonna open up this side here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six steps, I guess. And about, this could be about six, seven, eight, nine, ten total bags. And then of course we have the footage here. Let's check that out real quick. So yeah, the, the plain white background. You know, at first, when I first saw them, I, I said, yeah, I like them. Pretty excited about it, but I didn't know they were all gonna be like that. So now I'm kind of like, eh. Nothing too excited with the booklets an anymore, unfortunately. Of course, you still got some previews in the back. Pretty cool. All the sets for the August summer wave, it looks like. Oh, well, let's get straight to this, guys, and get to building. Bag number one. Let's do this. Alright, guys, so starting with the minifigures here, I'm gonna check out a familiar face here, which is Hunter from the Bad Batch. And it's the same Hunter we got from the Bad Batch and the Bad Batch shuttle set uh, that came out, I believe, last year. Um, so nothing has changed. He's pretty much uh, identical to that set. He also comes with that nice little hair piece right there, which looks really good. And of course, he also has that second face print, which also still looks really nice. So yeah, it's a nice minifigure, but nothing new here, guys. And here we got Fennec Shand. And I tried to lower my camera so I can capture her eyes a little bit, but it was still <laughs> kind of hard to see. But you can see those eyes through the mask. Let me just tilt her up a little bit. So you can see the eyes come right through the mask. Just like in previous sets, she's been already seen in two previous sets. Um, I forget which sets they are. I'll probably throw them up here on screen so you can see which sets you can find her in. But this is the only set that you can get her with that cool little briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that guys, but this is the only set where you can get her with that helmet and the hairpiece. So this is the first time you'll find her with both of them, which is what we've been asking for. It was pretty ridiculous that they gave her, uh, they gave us Fennec Shan, you know, they gave her a face print and everything like that. And they didn't give us any kind of hairpiece to put on her. So this is, uh, you know, the one set they came, they just gave her a helmet. Then the next set came, they skipped out on the helmet and they just gave us the hairpiece. Which, you know, it's at least we got a hair piece, but yeah, this is the first time we see her with the helmet and the hair piece. And of course, she does still have her second face print. That is Fennec Shan, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pretty cool minifigure nonetheless. Got some great print, great arm print. All right, now we're getting to the exciting part. Of course, this is what we've been all waiting for. And if anyone's gonna pick up any of these sets early, it's because we wanna make sure we grab Omega, or Omega, however you wanna say it, to be honest. I started saying Omega because I've been hanging around the Lego Brit too damn much. <laughs> so I say Omega now, but Omega, Omega, tomato, tomato, however you want to say it. I can't say that it's wrong either way. 
but a really cool minifigure it's pretty decent she's got a nice little you know kind of a tense look there um, in that first uh, face print she does have some arm print as well no leg print or anything of the sort unfortunately but she does have some nice back printing looks pretty nice and we'll take a look at the second face there she is with a much happier face and yeah that's that's actually looks a little bit better i took the handcuffs off her so she can you know play the part that she's uh much happier without them handcuffs obviously but uh that is omega guys pretty exciting that we finally got her to add her to the bad batch collection guys and of course the star of the show we have cad bane and for me i am extremely excited i've been waiting for myself to get a hold of a cad bane and not have to pay 30 40 50 60 dollars for a cad bane uh, it's a little different has its um, pluses and its minuses compared to the first i guess the first cad bane that came out um, from what i see i think it's, it's a fairly good improvement um, they got a really good print i love the uh, pieces they put on him for to make the tubing the hat is a little bit smaller i think uh, you know from the pictures i've seen of the first cad bane um, the hat was like a little just a little big for me so if they would have been able to find something in the middle between this one and the old one that would have been great but yeah it is a little small but it works it actually works really well no side print of any sort so that's kind of unfortunate but it is a really cool minifigure so here's what he looks like without the hat so you guys didn't get a good look of what that face looks like so it is pretty cool guys pretty exciting minifigure and again omega and cad bane best reason why we're getting this set oh and we can't forget total 360 the little mini droid nice little print on his face and on the belly there i believe it's a print yeah it's a print there uh, but it's cool for what it is a nice little mini figure or my micro mini figure whatever <laughs> all right guys here you have it this is cad bane's justifier and it's actually a little bit bigger than i anticipated which is pretty cool uh, i didn't really expect that but we're gonna run through this guys and give a good little turn around and scope out some of the features around here and this is uh, what it looks like here in the landing position. So with the tail down, the uh, little landing gear that you see here um, is in the down position right there. So I'm going to show you guys these features. Um, and well, let's pretty much start up here in the front. Um, you do have some sticker pieces here, here, here in the front of the windshields here. And those are clear sticker pieces that I don't really like. The bubbles always show. Um, I wish they would just print these pieces out. That would be great because I hate dealing with clear stickers on some clear uh, Lego pieces, but um, it, you know, from afar, you can't really notice it too much. You do have the cockpit that you can access simply by picking up here, and this comes off, and you are able to access into the middle. So, um, pretty neat. I'm gonna show you the inside here in just a minute, but I'm gonna kind of give it a swing here and show you some other details first. Here you have the wing, which doesn't give you access really to any space. It's just really opens up to give you access to uh, sling not a sling a spring loaded shooter so the spring loaded shooter it pretty much gives you access to it um, but it's really no space to put anything else down in here no no access to like storage compartments or space for minifigures you do have the stud shooter here these shooters here look really great in the side I think that looks pretty cool again a lot of a lot of nice details here with some of the engine exposures here I mean it looks pretty cool but I, I do have some complaint with some of the gaps that you see here and of course gapping in here it's sometimes it's um yeah it's kind of an eyesore but it is what it is um you know for, for what it is it's pretty decent of course the other wing does come up here it gives you access for another sling uh spring loaded shooter again no access but that is pretty much it so i'm going to show you guys here the inside of the cabin so again, here we go. We're just, you know, it, it, literally there's no studs holding on to it. It's, it's really just kind of sits on top right here. So if you fly this thing upside down, you might lose it. It might fall off. I haven't tried it and I'm not going to. But here is the inside. And yeah, you, you have some pretty decent space. I mean, it, it's fairly tight, but at least you can fit it. Two minifigs in here really comfortably. It comes with those two crates in here um, with some thermal detonators and whatnot, a lightsaber. I'm throwing Fennec Shan's hair down there and, and, and all the extra pieces. Look, I just kind of hang them everywhere just to kind of keep my pieces together. But it's, it fits them nicely. I did manage to fit Omega and um, Hunter there and they fit nicely. They look really good down there. Um, of course, you got the nice little feature with uh, the little red door right there. It 
kind of just pops up to, to grant access and makes it easier to you know get your fingers in there and pull them in and out so yeah i guess nice little feature here it, it does provide you know ample space for all your mini figures but it is a little tight it, it can be a little tight so that's what you got of course the cockpit there with cad bane um he's sitting in his chair the cockpit does have some printed pieces there as well it's got some space <clears throat> It's got some space, for, or I'm sorry, some clips right there for Cad Bane to put his two pistols, one right there and another one right here. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. But again, I, I would really have wished that we'd have had all this space, all this space, and then lift up here and have some compartments and some more space here, like the Millennium Falcon or something, you know? I mean, that would have been kick-ass. All right, so now we're going to go through the features here of the pretty much the landing gear. So, again, again guys, um... For me, I personally do not like the fact that they spent so much putting this gearing together and all this Technic stuff in here just so we can have this function here. Just That's it. Just that function right there. That when you pull it up into flight mode, the gear goes up. So, I mean, it's cool for what it is. Um, I, I would much, much rather have had it um, without all this Technic gear. I would much rather have had access to all this for some internal compartments and some more space to throw in some minifigures and whatnot. So, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's a kind of a miss for me with Lego. Um, and the last feature here I want to show you, of course, is this compartment in the back here. It does open up and you have a little stash that you put. I'm not, it looks like Republic credits of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what it is. <laughs> it looks like a, a golden Korg there. Um, of course, there's another little minifigure. I just put him in there to hold on to him. But uh, I don't know what it is. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. But it's it does fit right nicely in here with some storage. You can have more storage in here, guys. So that is uh, a nice little feature as well. The swishability in this thing is pretty dang awesome. It's it looks really big, but it's actually a little bit lighter than you would think. I mean, and, it, and that you, the fact that you got this little portion here that you can hold on to, uh, you can hold on and grip. It's and it makes it really great, really great for some swishing action here. It's, it's pretty cool. Really nice. So I'm sure the kids will have a lot of fun with this. But there you have it, guys. Here's the back with the blue thrusters. I think it looks pretty neat as well. Uh, that is the Justifier, though. I mean, I'm a little disappointed, guys. It is tough. It's a tough sell. It really is. Of course, I'm, I'm going to grab it. I want my Cad Bane. I want my Omega. Um, and the Total. Total 360 is pretty dang cool, too. But... Um, is it worth it? Yeah, you guys might be able to wait for it to go on sale. All right, guys, that was it. That was a review of the Cad Bane's Justifier ship here, or whatever, the Justifier. Uh, guys, $170. God, what does it come out with, too, with taxes? About $183 here in California. Freaking taxes. It comes like $183 for this set. For 1,022 pieces. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty heavy, man. Lego, I don't know what you're doing to us. To, to me, guys, it's a great set. I absolutely love it. It's, it looks cool. I mean, it's got some great swishability, some great play features, some great compartments and stuff like that. Is there gripes? Heck yeah, there's definitely some lost space in here. I definitely would have preferred that they took away all these mechanisms for this, you know, the landing gear. Just, just for that, you have all these mechanisms that take up a lot of space. It would have been great if we could just open this and have a bunch of space for minifigures and stuff like that. I think that would have been a greater sell for like a greater sell for Lego. But for what it is, it's a great set, great minifigures. Super excited that we have, you know, Cad Bane and Omega. She's, she can't help herself. She's playing with the Lego. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it, got, it is a beautiful set. It, it is really cool. I actually like it. I like the way it looks. It looks pretty decent, sturdy. Um, you know, it's, it's sturdy and it's lightweight. You have some awesome minifigures. If you're in search of Omega, Omega, and you want that Cad Bane minifigure, absolutely a must-have. So, I, obviously, we went out, bought one, bought two of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, but you guys definitely want to wait. Um, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of opportunity for you guys to find these sets on sale because um, it is going to be a dent on the wallet. But, guys, we appreciate you guys as always. Uh, as, as always, uh, we thank you guys for coming out and checking out our content. If you like what you saw, smash that like button, guys. We'd appreciate it. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, guys, because um, we're already at, like, 609 subscribers. Our next subscriber giveaway is supposed to be at 750. And we're, we're climbing up there fairly quick. And, again, we appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to get there without you guys' support. So go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Um, our next giveaway is 750 subscriber giveaway, which can be given away 
$100 in Lego gift card. So $100 to spend at lego.com any way you want. So, yeah, guys, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. May the force be with you. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.